Hi, I'm Danielle. And I'm Rochelle. We're the owners of Godiva Secret Wigs. This video is going to show you our top 15 blonde colors going from darkest to lightest. And we're going to show you those colors in 15 of our top wig styles. So let's get started. Yeah. Oh, before I forget, if you like our videos, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put out one new video pretty much every single week. You'll love them. Yes. And you're going to be reading? Oh, yes. So for each of these colors, I'm going to actually read you the color description just like it says on our website. And I'm going to put a link to all of our colors down below um, where it says show more. You can click on that and it'll take you right to our website where you can see all the different colors. Um, there'll also be links to every single wig we put on in this video. So the words, the terms that we're using are specific to each wig. So listen, and it will help you choose a color for these great styles. Yes. So get out your pen and paper and let's get started. So the wig I'm wearing, her name is Tiffany, and this color is Iced Mocha. This is going to be our darkest blonde color. And the color description is a dark ash brown with very light blonde highlights. So as you'll see, there's this darker brown color and you're going to have these light blonde highlights all throughout it. It's a really pretty color. And then the wig I'm wearing, Tiffany, let me give you a little tour of her. I love Tiffany. So she has this really cute fun back and then a more page boy front. So that's Tiffany. Now the wig Rochelle is wearing is named Christy and this color is chocolate frost. Now, Chocolate Frost is a chunky blend of a dark ash brown, an ash blonde, and a light blonde. So what you'll notice with the Chocolate Frost color is that in the front, you're going to have a lot of the three colors, this darker brown, the light blonde, and then this medium blonde, like a great, great blend. And in the back, especially in the short wigs, you're going to have the nape be the darker color. Um, in the longer wigs, you'll have more of the same color throughout, but especially in the short wigs, that nape is going to be a lot darker. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful, just chunky blended blondes and browns. Mm -hmm. And I think, Danielle, although the word ash is in both of these color descriptions, mm -hmm. the ash that we choose is still a rich color. It's, it brings out great colors in our skin tone. Yeah. So don't think it's going to be beige. It's not a grayish tone. It's really rich colors, so totally. you'll love them. So the next one that I'm going to put on is Jenna, and this color is Butter Pecan. Mm. So as you'll see, I mean, I literally just put this wig on. I haven't done anything to it. This is how you'll get it when you get it in your box as well. None of these wigs have been cut, altered, even touch with the brush. So um, this is Jenna, like I said, and the color is Butter Pecan. Butter Pecan is going to be a dark golden blonde with light brown low lights and a little bit of a medium brown finely blended throughout it. Mm. So you'll see the base of this color is that golden blonde. But you're actually going to see some of those browns, <coughs> excuse me, as low lights throughout it. Very subtle. Mm -hmm. Very subtle. So it's not a striped <coughs> chunky like this one, right. really subtle, beautiful, almost like a butter blonde with a little soft brown mixed in. Like maybe like a butter pecan. Butter pecan! <laughs> what a <the> name! <laughs> so now Rochelle is going to put on the next wig, which is Liberty. And the color that she's putting on is called Butternut. So just okay. a note about the style. If you've heard of our Freedom wig, which is our number one wig, Liberty is her sister wig. So Liberty is going to lay a little bit flatter than Freedom. Right. She also has a lace front, which makes the hairline undetectable. Right. She's just Great. gorgeous. So this butternut color is going to be a blend, a very fine blend of a dark, a medium, and a light golden blonde. So with this butternut color, there's not really any chunky highlights. It's just this beautiful blend of all different golden blondes which is so realistic. Love it. Love it. Hope you're taking notes. <laughs> and this, and you'll notice that dark color at the roots. That's because that color is a rooted color. Um, so that at the roots is what looks like regrowth, like roots. Love it. Really cute. Thank you. So the next one I'm going to put on is Candice. 
which is our oh, favorite long sexy wig. Sexy. And the color that I'm putting her on in is called Mochaccino. Flip that baby over. So you can see, like, I just put her on. So you may like it like this, or you may want to just tame it down a little bit. It's oh. totally up to you. But like I said, I mean, I literally did nothing. I just put her on. She's an awesome wig. Oh. So the color is Mochaccino. Mochaccino is going to be a dark, ashy blonde with light golden blonde highlights. So she's just this beautiful, just, mm. <clears throat> I love this color. Mm -hmm. Like, like Rochelle said, when I'm, we're saying ashy, but they're still very warm. Mm -hmm. So this is going to still be a warm, rich color. And, and can I just show yeah. one thing? Oh, yes. You can have so many different looks out of Candace mm -hmm. just by pulling it, clipping it. You can pull it up. You can do anything with it. Yes. Just play, play with Candace. And let me show you the back of Candace. Just long. Look at her. She's just gorgeous. Ugh. And all of yes. these wigs come in a lot of different colors, not just the colors we're showing you. All of these come in blondes, browns, reds, and a lot of these come in grays as well. So again, that's Candace in Mochaccino. Yay. So next, Rochelle is putting on, drum roll, what are you putting on? Oh, what are you oh, yeah. She's putting on Selma in Frosty Blonde. <laughs> and I know there's some of you out there that want to wear your wig like this, and you just do it, girls. Yes. Some women want their wigs really super full, and it just gives that lift in the face. But And just by using her fingers, look how she can completely change this style. So the Frosty Blonde color is going to be a medium ash brown blend in with a platinum blonde. So it's a really cool, even though it's platinum, it still looks very, the way it's blended is, is very subtle still. So it's an, a wonderful look. For women who kind of want to go gray also, this can be a great transitional color. Great. The Frosty Blonde. Great thinking, Danielle. Thank you. <laughs> so again, that is Selma in Frosty Blonde. Yeah. Next, I'm going to put on one of my favorites. Let's wait and see what. So this wig is Alana, and the color is called Spring Honey R. R meaning rooted. Oh, I love Alana. Thanks, me too. So Alana is this awesome page boy, but she doesn't really have a bang, which is one of the things I like. Mm-hmm. Is it her or me? Yeah, it looks great. So again, this is Alana, a really cute page boy, and the color is Spring Honey R. Um, so the Spring Honey is going to be more of a beigey blonde blended with some lighter golden blondes throughout mm -hmm, it here. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a little bit more of a beigey color, mm -hmm. really, really natural. Let me show you her back. Beautiful. So very subtle. So cooler versus your warmer tones. Mm -hmm. And this Spring Honey R, there's also the regular Spring Honey. So with all the colors we're showing you, depending on the wig, some colors, it'll come with a root, and some, in some styles, the color will come without a root. So you can just look on the website to see what's available. Good Next. Thing. Next. Number one. Rochelle's going to be putting on our Freedom in Nutmeg F. Well, ladies, I am never without a Freedom. <laughs> I don't care what part of the world I'm in, or if I am home, or if I am working out, or mm -hmm. I'm going to the market and my hair's a mess, Freedom is with me. So if you remember, a couple weeks back, Rochelle had on the Liberty. So Freedom is the sister. So Freedom's going to have a lot more fullness, um, and just, like I said, more fullness all over, and she also does not have that lace front. She's more of the machine teased all throughout. And then the Nutmeg F color is going to be a strawberry blonde, with light blonde highlights throughout it. And Nutmeg F will always be rooted. Right. And so yeah, you'll see it's just this really great chunky highlight of the strawberry blonde and the light blondes. Nutmeg F. Nutmeg F. Phenomenal. And Freedom. Make sure you write those down. Write those down. <laughs> so the next Please. one I'm going to wear <laughs> is called Rochelle. Yeah. This is what Rochelle's hair used to look like. I was going to say it looks like. I was gonna <laughs> it does sometimes. 
Thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> and this color is called Creamy Toffee R. Mm. Oh, love this. Yeah. So, so I'm not even going to do anything. So anyways, this is a Rochelle, so she has this great wave. I love it. I didn't do anything. It looks so good. Um, and the color is Creamy Toffee R, which is going to be a chunky blend of a honey blonde and a light golden blonde. So it's just this beautiful. It's one of our most popular colors. It really goes with a lot of different skin tones. Mm -hmm. And let me show you so you can see what Rochelle looks like. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what I looked like 30 years ago. <laughs> and what's so amazing in our rooted colors is that the dark roots mixed with the light blondes really give your skin dimension. It pulls from your eyebrows, your eyes, and mm -hmm. it's okay to put a little more makeup on too, yes. especially when you're wearing rooted versus just a light blonde wig. That brings up another point. If you have naturally dark hair and you're wanting a blonde wig, I suggest a rooted colored blonde. Because like for me, my eyebrows are dark, my features are darker. So if I had this blonde wig without the roots, it looks pretty phony on me. But by having the roots, it totally makes sense and nobody would ever think I was wearing a wig. Right. And again, remember that we're slapping these wigs on in about yeah. 10 seconds. So imagine if you took two minutes yeah. and keep in mind that the more you're brushing and trying to make it perfect, the foamier it's getting. Yes. So Godiva's Secret Wigs, we design them and create them so when you're putting it on, it's pretty much ready to go. Exactly. Okay? Let's keep that in mind. Okay. So next, Rochelle is going to put on Peggy in sugar cane. And I always shake my wigs first because I want to start with it full. Mm -hmm. That's a really good tip. Even though it looks a little <laughs> crazy right now. So up at the hairline, go very slowly, and then even the tabs. Make sure those hard little curvy tabs are even. And then I start around my face. So the color that she's wearing is called sugarcane. Oh. This is sugarcane R because it has those roots. So, so it's going to be a blend of a pale blonde and a pale strawberry with a hint of this cinnamon, like a beautiful mm -hmm. little cinnamon color. So the majority is going to be those blondes, but you'll see here these little pieces of this darker, really pretty, like a reddish colors. color. And I want to show you, like, it's with a short wig. Instead of just going down and making it flat, a little secret and the way we love our wigs to be worn is just take your fingers mm -hmm. and just use your fingernails. That looks so good. Does that look better? Yeah, totally. And I can take it all the way back and meet my fingers. Cute. The other thing that's cute is just tucking a little behind your ears. Right. Some women want it all behind and that's yeah. okay too. Yeah. So again, that is Peggy in Sugarcane. Love her. Who do I have? <laughs> I'm putting on Kayla in Aww. Vanilla Bean. I love this wig so much, I named one of my daughters after. <laughs> that wig should be very happy love about you, Kayla. that. <laughs> Kayla in Vanilla Bean. Ooh. Let me see the mirror one second. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She's good. So Kayla is an awesome style. I love her. I actually tried having my hair cut just like her. I'm obsessed with Kayla basically. <laughs> so this is a great wavy style. It has that lace front also. Right here you can see. So the hairline is literally undetectable. Mm -hmm. And what's great is when you wash our wigs, they dry right back into the same style. Nice. So with Kayla, even when you wash her, you're going to get these great waves back and there's nothing you have to do. Mm -hmm. And when you get Kayla out of the box, we were talking about doing too much to a wig makes it look phony. There's very little to do to Kayla or it's going to start getting a little bigger and bigger. Right. If it does, just start finger curling it, not yes. just brushing it or yes. it will get a little bushier. Right. And that's with any of our wavy and curly wigs. Right. You really just like if like if you had if you had curly hair of your own, you don't want to sit there and brush it. It gets frizzy. So it's the same with the wig. You want to just be gentle and use more of a finger curl. Mm -hmm. And if you need to brush, maybe brush one little piece and then finger curl it. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want to take just a brush to right. it. Right. Think making your wig look natural versus right. making your wig look perfect. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Next. Oh, did I tell you that the color is for vanilla bean? Go ahead, do it again. But just in <laughs> case, this is a vanilla bean color. 
It's a soft beige blonde with medium blonde lowlights. Vanilla bean, right here. It's a, one of our most popular blonde colors also. We we're so excited about the wig, I forgot to tell you about the color. <laughs> so Rochelle has on Katie, which is a great medium length style. And the color that she has on is called Gold Blonde. Mm -hmm. So Gold Blonde is just going to be a, not just, but she's a light golden blonde. So she just has like a great, very, very blended group of colors. Um, nothing chunky. She's a really, really natural color. Um, a color that you could probably get on your own without even going to like a hair salon. She's just soft, a very natural, soft. Very yes. feminine, very soft light light what do we call how do we describe this color again a light golden blonde that's it can't say it better myself gold blonde <laughs> very soft so again that is katie an excellent style I love she katie. comes in a couple of beautiful gray colors as well just to note all colors all of these yes. wigs come in so many beautiful colors you'll mm -hmm. love them so next i get to go super short all right i'm putting on sheila and creamy blonde here we go, guys. Now that you've cut your hair, it's I know. easier. I cut my hair super short, so now it's so much easier to put well, on Super the short is down to here no, for it's Danielle. Here. It's here. <laughs> I call that super short. This, this is super <laughs> short. So this is going to be Peggy, also a super short. Sheila. Sheila. Sorry. Sheila. That's all right. Thank you. I'm here Just for you, you, honey. Testing you. <laughs> so this is Sheila in the creamy blonde, which is one of our lightest colors. So Creamy Blonde is going to be a pale blonde blended with a platinum blonde. So she has this great blend of just, like you can see, a few different very light blondes. So she's, even though she's super light, she's very natural looking because of that great blend of the mm -hmm. light blonde colors. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the back. It's a nice little tapered neck. Oh, sorry, honey. That's okay. It's super. And for you ladies that are starting to go white and you're not ready yet, this is a fabulous color. It's just that real middle point between the mm -hmm. beautiful soft blonde yeah. and a soft white, like a champagne okay. white. So again, Sheila, creamy blonde. Next. Is that me? Yep. All right. Rochelle gets to put on Diana in creamy toast. So creamy toast is going to be a light golden blonde la la. with a subtle highlight of golden. Oh, ladies, check out oh, this, that. this lace front. It's unbelievable. I can think of seven of my clients mm -hmm. right now that would look that so good. That hairline is literally look at that. insane to me. I, <laughs> let me, I literally, from right here, it's crazy. It's crazy. I know, it is crazy. Yeah, we mean it. I can't get close enough to the camera to show you how amazing this is. So that is going to be the Creamy Toast. Again, it's a light golden blonde with just a regular golden blonde mixed up, mixed throughout it. And the back. And the back is it's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one I'm putting on, and her name is Abigail, and this color is Champagne, mm. which is a beautiful rooted color. Champagne is going to be a platinum blonde mixed with a pale blonde. Go. And like Danielle said, it will champagne will always come with the root. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. And Abigail has this great lace front again. Oh wow, honey. Love that, right? Yes. So if you're a person who doesn't like bangs, mm. lace fronts for you. So these are our top 15 blonde colors shown in 15 of our top wig styles. Again, if you look <laughs> down below, it'll say show more underneath the video. Click that and there'll be a link to every single wig that we put on, as well as a link to our color charts and a link to our color swatches. Right. Be able to find everything on our website really and, easily. And thank you so much for all the amazing comments yes. and reviews after you purchase our wigs mm -hmm. and the comments from our videos because we really do strive to bring you videos that are going to help educate you and help your decision making process yeah. as easy as hopefully if we were right in front of you. So we hope it's help helping. Yes. See you soon. Bye. Bye.